it's been a while, but this today I thought I would work with some of my natural inks and how easy it is to make something interestingly wonderful with them. So I'm really just colouring in a very vague, quick sense. And here I'm putting down lemon scented gum with two and a half percent of ferrous sulfate with it. Because um, I'm actually looking to make a piece of fabric that I can tear up and that looks interesting. So we do need some different tones and so forth. Um, so I'm really, there's no plan. There's really just having fun. And this is Bougainvillea plus urea, fig and vinegar. I'm really after, I actually don't mind what color they come out like because I'm going to tear it into strips later and then do something else with it. But I thought I'd take the opportunity just to show you. So this is one of my little traveling, um, little traveling containers that I've made up so I could take it with me um, from my big collection that I have. I'm being fairly rough. You can use them like watercolours, but this is just, you can overlap them and they give really interesting tones. So this was in water, this particular one, and so was the other one. But overlapping gives really interesting and lovely, just like watercolour does really. I mean, basically, that's how I treat them. So I have a large piece there and a small piece here. I'm doing the same thing too. You may not be able to see the small piece, but that's okay. And my large piece is doubled. So I don't know if it'll go through to the bottom. I'm hoping it will and save me a bit of effort. Now going to add some red camellia petals that have been in methylated spirits. Again, just, we should get some differing tide marks as the water and the metho inks come together. But we won't know really until it's dried. And they've had time to merge and settle and you can see yeah they're the same sort of color but they're more than likely will dry differently and you can see there where the fig and the camellia have combined together where I've overlapped them they're already looking interesting and here where it's overlapped with the uh, ferrous lemon scented gum and the ferrous sulfate mixture, it's gone much darker. Whereas that really hasn't happened over here with our fig mixture. I mean, I just find it really interestingly delightful. I think I'm going to have to do another lot of color charts where I've combined different inks together because the combinations of one over the other just is magnificent and so unknown. Well, I, have no, I don't know what happens from one thing to the next. Hey, but I don't mind. So as you can see, I'm just adding painting just really in an abstract fashion. I might use this as a background or half of it as a background, depending on how I like it. 
but don't be too precious about it. Okay, I'll finish off here and come back and show you when it's more finished. Okay. In Methylated Spirits. Sweet Pea Petals in Methylated Spirits. I call this a butterfly nut tree. Sorry, I don't know what it's called. With urea and ferrous sulfate. Pink Pelagonia Petals in Methylated Spirits. And a red wattle uh, seed pods which I boiled up so let me just take those away and as you can see I'll actually take a photo of this so you can also see it better as well but I love the sense of movement in there and how things have actually started to gel together and work together to give this movement this violent movement in a way and as things have melded together and created a new color new tide lines it's it's actually really exciting so i'll take a photo and show you and when it's dry i'll also take another photo so you can see the difference but i may leave this as it is or I may recolor it uh, once it's dry and I've seen what it looks like. But I love it now. Okay, thanks for being with me and I hope you have fun doing, having fun with your stuff. Okay, 